jumping out the bed. He is live in Sacramento nope. with more. Blam! I, I mean, it's legendary how bad my insomnia is, so I watch a lot of television, and there's no show out there that gives me more joy than Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. I love it. So I sat down with Rachel Bloom to talk about the final season and how the whole thing works. I'm trying to breathe. I'm so excited. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm so, so excited. excited to talk to you. Do you know how much joy the show has brought to me I, and my friends? Well, I do because you're so lovely on Twitter, oh. and so it makes me so happy. Oh, I can't sing. I yeah. can't act. Yeah. But I'm gonna do this. Now follow me. You ready? Okay. Previously on Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Go. Oh, that's great. <laughs> um, previously on Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, um. Oh wow. Uh well <laughs> my character uh since season one had created a fake boyfriend named Trent, mm -hmm. who kind of was um her uh, her the worst parts of, of of her obsession with Josh Chan and other men, but kind of um, taken to the max because I think Trent is uh, I forget sociopath or psychopath, but he's definitely one of those. Um, he was Rebecca has kind of um, kept him at arm's length, but then had sex with him one time, but then kept him at arm's length, arm's length again, and he's insane. He tried to kill this guy Nathaniel. Um, or wanted to make it seem like he was going to kill Nathaniel, and Rebecca, to defend Nathaniel, pushed him off a roof mm -hmm. and is now accused in court of uh, uh, attempted murder. And at the end of the season, she decides to plead guilty because Trent and everything that happened is, is really, she sees it as um, a symptomatic of, of, of all of the bad things that she's done, and she wants to finally take responsible for all the bad things that she's done. Can we break down how it works? Because I've always wanted to ask you this. Sure. So does it start with the story, and then the song is created, always. and then the genre, or how does it work? So sometimes it's almost like putting together a stand-up routine or a sketch. Like, okay, okay well, what, what's an idea that we can lift out of this that, that stands alone as a comedic, nine times out of 10, comedic premise, and then What's a style of music that goes well with that? How does that make us feel? What's a style of music that goes along with that? Um, and then what's a chorus within that style that will help convey this idea the best? So it's, it's, it's a very hard thing to do. Yeah, it just made my brain hurt. It's hard. That's really hard. It's really, really hard. Is there a, a, a subgenre of music that you would, you're dying to do before, the, before it's all over? We finally have a Beach Boys song coming up. Okay. We finally have like a Halloween episode coming up, which we've been wanting to do, which Pat and Oswald's in. Uh, there's so many song genres, there's so many. Zydeco, Zydeco. Okay. Zydeco. <laughs> I don't know why, but okay, I think that's really So are we setting ourselves up for the end for it to be my totally with it, I'm super healthy girl oh, I used to we're date? We're always deconstructing the title Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, and I think that hopefully by the end, the show, it, it goes from being called that to something just like, this is me, or. Hi, I'm Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> she is a genius. Her. Yes, she I is. I love her so much. Uh, I made matching T-shirts for me and her. Oh, it's uh, so great. That said blam, and uh, she is fantastic. All right, tonight, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, the final season. She said she had four seasons of this, and she gets her fourth season because the CW is awesome. I love my network. All right, back to you guys. <laughs> so great.